I got another one right next to it. Looks to be a good size. Got him. That's a nice one. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a big slab. Big slab. Stay on. Oh yeah, look at this thing. I think this thing is 15 inches. Let's give him a check. He's a good one. It's gonna be close. He is 14 and a half. Fourteen and a half inch crappie. Very nice. Twelve-inch crappie. Okay. There comes one out of the tree. Take it. It's following it up. Got him. Little one. There's one. Go. Probably 13 inch. Hey guys, it is the crappie fishing today. Um, you know, I used to be a guide for several years. 
Uh, so let me talk to you about that. Let me throw these guys back. Uh, yes, they make great, great fish tacos, but I'm going to let these go today. I have, a, I have enough at the house. Well, one second. All right. So, like I said, I used to be a guide. And I still fish quite often, as you know. But um, what is it that you expect from a guide? You know, when I was to go out with someone... My expectation is that the guide's gonna lead us to where the fish are and uh, hopefully make lots of great memories and take some fish home, have a good fish fry, whatever it is you're gonna do, right? Well, we have a guide in life and that's our Lord, uh, Lord Savior Jesus Christ. The Bible says the Lord is our shepherd. So the shepherd is there, he's there to lead us, he's there to guide us. Um, things aren't always gonna be perfect, but the one thing is, he will never leave us. We may turn our back on him when things don't go right, but he will never leave us. My prayer for you today is if you don't know the Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that you would pray that you would accept him as your Lord and Savior, that you would repent, and that you would follow him, and then uh, let him guide you in life, and just see all the miraculous things that happen. Like I said, it doesn't mean everything's gonna be great, but life sure is better with him. So. That's my prayer for you today. God bless.